Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends. So, so let me go live. I'm over here in the mall. I'm over here in the mall. And I was listening to 19 Keys. Hey friends. I was listening to 19 Keys. Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends. So if you guys are not following 19 Keys, follow him. Um, I was listening to him and he was talking about how, you know, we all can win in the 21st century, right? We all can win. Hey, Aisha. Hey, guys. Hey, Brenda. So he was saying that we all can win in the 21st century, right? We don't have to work jobs. You know, we don't have to be slave to a job. We don't have to be slave to a mortgage. Uh, you know, we don't have to be slave, uh, you know, to, you know, our car notes and, you know, to these big, you know, corporations. We actually can do everything that we need to do for ourselves. He also explained that in order to win, right, we got to have the power to win, right? See, when you create your own, you have more power, right? When you're creating your own, you're doing your own thing, you have more power and your power is a different type of power, right? So understanding that we are all we have, friends, right? I'm proud that, you know, black businesses have started, more black businesses have started, but we still got a long way to go, guys, right? Because if we allow these corporations, right? So if you allow corporations to feed your family, you you also allow corporations to starve your family as well. So we got to really get into the mindset of ownership, right? We got to get into the mindset of owning stuff, right? And understanding that, you know, we have the power to do what we want to do and how we want to do it. So I know a lot of people have jobs. A lot of people on here probably got jobs. And, you know, your job is, you know, you're probably sick of your job or you hate your job or your job is not paying you enough or you don't have enough vacation time or, you know, your, your, your family has to work around your job. But the different type of power, friends, is when you create your own income, you create jobs for other people. And guess what? Now you can do what you want to do when you want to do it. Right. So that's a different type of power. And then you're not conformed to the corporations. Right. You're not conformed to these corporations. You know, you're not, uh, you know, subject to, you know, what they're doing, their policies and their procedures. Right. You're subject to you guys. So ownership and doing your own thing, guys, is a different type of power. You're not worried about stimulus checks. Right. You're not worried about uh, uh, 401ks. You know, you're not worried about, um, you know, when your tax refund is coming. You're not chained to that because those type of things, guys, make us powerless. Okay, make us powerless. Hey, Lauren. So those type of things make us powerless, guys. And that's why I'm so big on people creating their own, right? Everyone, right? Everyone has the abilities. Everybody on here. There's 10 people on here. Everyone has the ability to create their own, right? Let's say you're working a job, you got a nine to five, and you want to raise on your job. All you got to do is start your own, start your own business, right? Start your own credit business, start your own financial business, start your own e-commerce business, start your own multi-level marketing business. It don't matter, right? You can start whatever it is that you want and it gives you a different type of power, right? It gives you a different, how many people are working a job and have their own business, right? Because this is how you do it. Show you type of number one, if you have a job and you have a business, Put a number one, if you have a job and you also have a business part-time, right? Because now, when you have your job, you use your job's money to now fuel your black wealth, right? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Make sure you share this out, guys. Um, I'm not going to be before you long. Um, I just wanted to do this live um, because I want to empower some people and inspire some people to see that, you know what? I have the power to create whatever I want to create, right? I have the power to do whatever I want to do. I don't have to be subject, right? I don't have to wait to get paid every two weeks or every week or every month. How about getting paid every day? How about making it 
where you have the power to get paid every day because you have products and services that people need and they want, right? See, that's the type of power that us black and brown folks, guys, need in this economy. Now, like I said, I'm happy or I'm proud of us that we all start in businesses and the pandemic and all that stuff. But at the same time, guys, you know, it's not a, enough of us doing it, right? It's not enough of us, uh, you know, making sure that our family's legacy is secured, right? It's not enough of us doing the damn thing, right? I mean, again, you know, black and brown people, we help every other culture. And this is sad. We help every other culture, friends, to get rich, to get wealthy, to send their kids to, to good schools, to help their families, um, to travel when they want, you know, buy nice expensive things. But who is helping the black and brown community? Who is helping, guys, the black and brown community? Think about this, right? Who is helping us? We help the Jewish get rich, we help the Chinese get rich, we help the white folks get rich. Who is helping us get rich? No one. <laughs> No one is helping us get rich, friends. So it's really up to us, right, to help us get rich. We are $2 trillion people. You know how much money that is? You know how much money that is, Brenda? $2 trillion. $2 trillion people. You mean to tell me we can't create our own banks? We can't create our own schools? We can't have our own supermarkets. We can't have our own laundromats. We can't have our own firework place. Do you know how much people, black people, was busting fireworks on 4th of July and Juneteenth? That's a billion dollar damn business right there. Somebody literally can open up a fireworks business. Work from April to July and make six figures. We need a black fireworks. <laughs> we need someone that's black need to start their own fireworks store. Do you know how much white people make from us buying fireworks? I mean, I, I spent at least a thousand dollars this year just on fireworks. So I know, and I know I'm just one person. How many other black people are spending a bunch of money um, on fireworks? So, you know, guys, we have the power, man. I'm telling you, we have so much power within our black community, friends, that we use it the wrong way, right? So if you type a number one, if you have a job and you're working your business, let's just say you're working your nine to five, you go to, job, you go to your job every day, but then you come home and you're working on your business, right? You, whether you got a hair business, whether you got a shoe business, you know, whether you got a, a, a teeth whitening business, whether you got a nail business, whether you got a credit business, a service-based business, you know, whatever it is. It doesn't really, you know, matter. Whatever it is, friends, right? Now you have a different type of power. Because here's the thing. If your job fires you, now your plan B is your business, right? So don't take because you're having or, you're, or you have a business part-time that, oh, no, it's just a part-time thing. I'm just doing a part-time thing. No, actually take this thing seriously. Right? Because now you have a different type of power. Your job fire. You're like, you know what? I'm going to put some gas on my business now. I'm going to definitely put some gas, uh, you know, on my business. I'm going to put some more money into my market. I'm going to put some more money, uh, you know, into my products. Right? So, I mean, you have the upper hand uh, above everybody else who just depending on that one income. Right? I always say, guys, one income is close to zero incomes. One income... It's close to zero incomes, friends. One income is close to zero income, son. I don't want to be subject to that. I have six incomes right now, right? I don't want to be subject, friends, right, to my job. And when my job fires me, now my whole family's destitute. See, a lot of people in COVID, when their job laid them off, the only thing they had to depend on was unemployment. <laughs> That's close to zero freaking incomes okay that's close to zero incomes friends and again that's still dependent on corporations and white america guys you know we can do better we're two trillion dollar people man two trillion dollar people see i'm a full-time entrepreneur i have the power to wake up when i want go to sleep when I want, travel when I want, and make money on demand when I want to, and be able to make an impact 
and empower and inspire other people across the world, other black people to do the same thing, right? So my power is different. It's not just financial, right? It's also intellectual power, right? How many people can actually say they have intellectual power, right? They can go and inspire nations, right? We have so many, guys, we got so much power, you know, and it, it, it's just so sad that we don't use it the right way, right? We don't use it the right way. I said, I'm scared. I don't know what business to start. I lost my job after seven years. Well, here's the thing. Um, just, what is it? Just Lisa? Lisa Marie. Here's what I always say. When people lose their job, I tell them congratulations. Let's give Lisa a round of applause for getting those chains off of her, Right? Let's, let, let's give her a round of applause for getting those chains off of her. Because I remember when I had a job, I felt like the world was on my shoulder. I felt like a bunch of bricks was on me, right? And then when my job fired me, thank God for that, right? I felt like, I felt lighter, right? I felt better, right? I was like, wow, I feel totally different now, right? So again, guys, if your job fired you, Lisa, baby, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, baby. Now you have the power to do your own thing, Lisa. Now, Lisa, you have the power to do your own thing. Yes, I understand you're gonna have anxiety. Yes, you may be going through depression. Yes, you may feel like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. You know, I feel like, you know what? No one's in my corner. Oh my God, how am I gonna pay my rent? How am I gonna pay my bills? Sis, let me tell you something. This cell phone, the internet, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, all of these platforms sis, has so much information. It has so much information, sis. You just now got to channel your, 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 your energy to the right things, right? So instead of scrolling on Instagram and just watching videos and sharing stuff and commenting, actually now go with intention. If you're going to watch YouTube, watch YouTube with intention, right? If you're going to follow people on Instagram, making sure, guys, you're following the right people on Instagram. Right? Don't be following a bunch of people who doing nothing, right? who ain't talking about nothing, who ain't trying to inspire, who ain't trying to uplift, who ain't trying to empower. Okay? So it takes time to tap into the energy. However, I definitely feel the weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. I'm telling you, when I had a job, I haven't had a job in 10 years, right? When I had a job, I felt every day I had to wake up 6 o'clock, drag myself to take a shower, Wash, brush my teeth, wash my behind, then drag myself to work. First of all, by the time I got to work, I was already drained. That's number one, like. <laughs> Before I got to work at nine o'clock in the morning, I was already fucking drained. So now you're talking about going throughout the whole doggone day, drained, <laughs> right? Okay, so then, I got to come home, I'm drained. I got my kids, I got my husband to take care of. I'm no good to them because I went to work drained and my boss and my supervisor drained the shit out of me. So now I'm coming home, I'm no good to my family. Now, is that fair? Is that fair, Lisa, to my children? Is that fair, Lisa, right, to my husband? It's not fair to him. It's not fair to them, right? So I thank God to this day that my job fired me. And I worked for the city of New York. I worked for ACS, snatching kids out the home. I hated that fucking job. Thank God, right? So it wasn't fair to my kids, right? It's not fair to them that I got to go to work drain get more drained, my energy's drained, and now I'm coming home flipping on my family? They don't deserve that, right? So definitely, Lisa, I would say, if you're doing TLC, sis, put some gas on it, right? Put some money into your marketing. Get you a coach, get you a mentor, get with your sponsor, right? Learn everything that you can, right? About the business, right? 
and then go out and do it. Yeah, you definitely missed a lot. You missed a lot of stuff with your kids. And if you got a husband, you miss a lot of stuff with him. I mean, me and my kids go to the pool in the summertime. We go to uh, great adventures and different parks and stuff. If I had a job, Lisa, guess what, baby? I would have to wait to get off work after I'm freaking drained to go take my kids to go have fun? No, right? We supposed to live now, right? We supposed to live now, right? Not at 65. See, that was the myth they told us, right? They told us the myth was, oh, work for 40 years, work for 50 years, right? And then, oh, your job is going to take care of you for the rest of your damn life. And guess what? How many people don't even make it out the job because they already dead? They already brain dead. Most people at the job right now are already brain dead, friends, right? And it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate, friends, but I'm here to wake people up. I'm here to wake people up. If you follow me, and if you're not following me, follow me on Instagram, because it's weird how I see people that's not even following me watching my stories. Like, follow me, right? I'm someone to follow, for real. I help hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people every year change their mindset, be inspired, create their own, get their power back, right? I'm not just out here, you know, one of those YouTubers. <laughs> I'm not just one of those Instagrammers. I really live a life that I talk about. I really live a life that I preach, right? I have my own business for 10 years. I got money flowing every single day to me, right? I got people wanting to work with me, collaborate with me all the time, right? But again, friends, again, we have to understand that we have the power. Hold on. We have to understand, friends, that we have the power, right, to do our own thing and not be slave, right? Not be slave to the job, friends. So I encourage you guys today, okay? Today, start your own. Create your own to get your power back. Okay, to get your power back. Don't you want your power back? Don't you want your power back? Do you know our ancestors? See, here's the thing about school. It's nothing wrong with education, but too much schooling confuses us, right? Just like the 4th of July. We celebrated the 4th of July for how long? Just to realize that we still are slaves. They taught us about uh, black history, how black history started from slavery. Black history didn't start from no damn slavery. Guys, we come from kings and queens. So you're a queen, Lisa, right? You're a queen, right? So you gotta act accordingly, right? You're a queen, so act like a queen, right? Act like you are royalty. That's where we actually come from. We don't really come from slaves, right? That's what the white education taught us. So we think that we come from slaves, but in reality, we come from royalty. You know, black people, we love a lot of nice stuff. We love a lot of expensive stuff, right? But that's our roots from our ancestors. And our ancestors were entrepreneurs. Our ancestors, Lisa, was entrepreneurs. Right? They didn't beg nobody for a job. They wasn't worrying about no 401k. They wasn't worrying about no bullshit hours working and racism at the job. They wasn't worried about none of that bullshit because they created their own. So it's like now we got to get back to creating our own. Our ancestors are depending on us to get shit together. Our, an our ancestors, friends, is dependent upon us to get things together, right? And I always say this, millennials, if you're under 40 years old, you're considered to be a millennial. We are the last generation to get this thing right because the next generation coming up, guys, guess what? They're lost, all they got is Instagram, all they got is TikTok and YouTube. And if you're a parent, we're competing against social media. If you're a parent, you're competing against social media. So we're the last generation, friends, to get this thing right, okay? We're the last generation to get this right. We're the last generation, friends. So it's my duty as a leader for my black and brown folks, as the leader, 
I have to empower you. I have to inspire you. I have to uplift you. But you got to do the work to get your power back. Right? And this is what, friends, we don't have enough of. We don't have enough people, black and brown people, having power in their own community. Right? So for me, I'm doing a pop-up shop. I want 50 vendors. I got 30 already. I want two, three, four, five hundred 500 people coming out to support black businesses, friends. We are all we have. We are the only culture or community that don't support one another. The only one. <laughs> Jewish support Jewish. Jewish marry Jewish. Chinese support Chinese. Chinese marry Chinese. White support white. White marry white. And in the black community, it's a fucking free for all. It's a, I'm laughing to keep from crying, right? It's a sad situation, right? And, and, and again, friends, it's up to us, okay? It's up to us, right? No one else. Guys, you can't depend on your job. You can't depend on Joe Biden. You can't depend on Camilla Harris. Forget about her, right? You can't depend on a 401k. That's over. How many people right now lost over 100 grand in they 401k? They thought they was gonna retire this year or they thought they was gonna retire next year and guess what? They still gotta work till they 80. Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna be working for nobody so I'm fucking 80. Hell no, right? So I mean, again, guys, you know, we are all we have, man. And we all can win together. Get better at supporting black businesses. Get better at it. If your friend has a business, your sister got a business, your aunt got a business, someone you know got a business, share their flyers, share their lives, share their stuff. Again, guys, we all we have. And we can get our power back, friends. So I am proud of us, right, that we did start more businesses in 2020, guys, but it's still not enough. And I know I help a couple of hundred businesses start in, in, in 2020 in the whole pandemic, right? So, I mean, again, guys, now is the time, man. We can no longer pray and wish and hope, guys. It's time to work, man. We got to work, guys, and we got to put our foot on the gas. So if Lisa's still on here, Lisa, you know, congratulations. You are free from the slave ship. <laughs> You're free, sis from the slave ship. Thank God for that. Give yourself a round of applause and say, thank God that I am free from the slave ship. Now I can think better. Now I can personally develop myself, right? Now I can actually listen with an open mind and not listen with the scarcity mindset, right? Because at your job, everything's fear, right? We're fear based at the job. But in entrepreneurship, it's more free thinking. Right? More intellectual thinking, right? More critical thinking. At your job, you can't think critical. Right? You can't even think. Right? Because you're so scared that your boss gonna fire you or anything you say, your coworker might rat on you, or whatever other all this other shit. Right? So Lisa, congratulate yourself. Say, you know what? Lisa, I'm happy for you, sis. You your job laid you off. Now you can go create your own. It's really simple, sis. I know it's gonna be hard. I know it's not easy, but sis. If you go look for another job, you only setting your lineage another, another 450 years back. If you go look for another job, Lisa, after your job laid you off, you're going to set your lineage, whether it's your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, your godchildren, you're setting them back another 450 years. Okay? So definitely, Lisa, I'm happy for you. Um, I hope to see you guys on my webinar tonight. I got 20 spaces left on my webinar. My webinar can only hold 100 people. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an ebook, right? An ebook on how to collect leads and how to create the ebook around whatever your products and your services are, okay? So make sure you guys are on the webinar tonight. It's going to be about an hour. And then I'm going to launch the summer school. Okay, the summer school is going to be a four-week intense training on marketing, on branding, uh, you know, on drop shipping. I'm going to touch a little bit on drop shipping. I'm going to focus on Facebook advertising. I'm going to focus on mindset and money. Okay, so make sure you guys register in my bio link on Instagram. Make sure you follow me and register. I only have 20 spaces left, so that means 80 people already registered, friends. And I'm going to take a small group. Tonight, we're going to do an um, orientation, which is between 20 to 30 people, okay? We're going to do a small orientation for about 30 minutes, and I'm going to tell you what you need to do 
and what I'm expecting of you and what's to be expected in the class. So this is only for people who want to grow a business, who want to scale a business, who want to learn how to leverage social media, who want to learn about drop shipping, and who overall want to be their own boss. Who overall, guys, wants to be their own boss. So tonight, 8 o'clock, um, 8 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be live for about an hour um, on Zoom. So make sure you guys register and also share the link with your friends and family that also want to learn how to leverage the internet, also want to learn how to create an ebook, also want to learn how to create their own, friends. So, but the time is now, friends. We got to take our power back. And that's the leader. That's the type of leader that I am. I'm helping people take their power back, friends, because we do have the power, friends, to win in the 21st century, guys. So I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys tonight. Happy Wednesday.